in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Muhammad Salim and you are watching my YouTube channel. India is a rogue state. India is an exporter of terrorism to the neighbors, to the region and to international community as well. Before highlighting Indian export of terrorism, I tell you that the recent leaked WhatsApp chat of Indian anchor Arnab Goswami has shown the real face of India. India planned a false flag operation of Pulwama by killing its own 40 soldiers to impose a war against Pakistan. What didn't happen? What happened? The BJP used these 40 dead bodies to attract the Indian voters and it was successful to make a government at the cost of 40 dead bodies of Indian soldiers. This is India. And India has also been revealed by EUD's InfoLab, in which EUD's InfoLab has shown that India had registered fake NGOs in UN. It made hundreds of social media accounts, the websites, to launch a propaganda warfare against Pakistan. And it was operating in more than 95 countries since 2005 India was doing all these activities against Pakistan and uh, it was dodging and befooling the most prestigious institutions of the world like UN and this has all uh, all of this has been unearthed by EU disinfo lab in the form of Indian chronicles and Pakistan has also given all the details of all the terroristic activities of India inside Pakistan and uh, in the region as well to the India uh, international community in the form of a dossier and Pakistan has uh, dispatched this dossier to all the international organization and the countries also. Now I talk to you that India is a international exporter of terrorism. This is revealed by a foreign policy magazine of America, one of the most renowned magazines of the world. It states that India has done terrorism in New York, America. It has done terrorism in the Stockholm, Sweden. It has done terrorism in the St. Petersburg of Russia. It was uh, India was there to do terrorism in Turkey, Istanbul on the eve of New Year night of 2017 in which dozens of people were killed and injured. And apart from this, India has also been giving money, weapon and ammunition to the international uh, terrorist organization ISIS, Daesh. India has also been doing uh, terrorism in Syria and uh, the main uh, instrument of this terrorism of India was Daesh. And India has also been involved in the terrorism in Jalalabad, Afghanistan. And when we talk about Indian terrorism in the region, so the most affected country after Pakistan in the region is Sri Lanka. Uh, India did terrorism in Sri Lanka on the eve of Easter on 24th April 2019 in which 270 Sri Lankans were killed and more than 500 Sri Lankans were injured in eight bomb blasts in uh, Colombo in the outskirts of Colombo and India did it. All these things has been revealed by the foreign policy magazine of America. and. India, why did India do this terrorism in Sri Lanka? Because it wanted to destabilize the government of uh, President Sirisena of Sri Lanka. Because before it, uh, there was a government of uh, Raja Pakse in Sri Lanka and Raja Pakse was not dancing to the tunes of Indians and he wanted to, uh, uh, he wanted to have a very respectable ties with India with a mutual respect. But India wanted to dictate that uh, it should be a puppet of India and it should not have good relations with China, but that was not in the best interest of Sri Lankans. So first they replaced the government or uh, of Raja Pakse and they brought uh, President Sirisena, both of them they denied to become the puppet of uh, India. So they then they then Indians did this terrorism in Colombo and India has also been doing terrorism in Sri Lanka for last 26 years. India was doing terrorism in Sri Lanka since 1980s and Sri Lanka came, uh, overcame this terrorism in 2009 with the help of Pakistan and this terrorism is known with the name of LTTE. 
liberation of Tamil Tiger Elam and uh, India was the main country to train the guerrilla warfare uh, of, uh, of this LLTTE. So this is the Indian uh, uh, one episode of terrorism in the region and it, it, is, it has also been doing terrorism there in Bangladesh, the water terrorism in, against Bangladesh. India is the country to kill a Chinese engineer in Bangladesh and when, when we talk about Nepal, one, of, one and only Hindu state in the world, it has also exchanged fire with Nepal and Bhutan is also terrified uh, from Indian terrorism. And when we talk about China, India is in a state of war against China and India has lost more than 40 square kilometers of its land in a war against China since 2019. And when we talk about Pakistan, India has been doing to undo Pakistan since the making of Pakistan because Indian considers that uh, the making of Pakistan is nothing but the very section of the sacred mother cow and they want to rejoin this vital organ of their mother cow with the older India. So in this regard, they wanted to break Pakistan. For this breakage, what they are doing, they have been uh, uh, sponsoring terrorism. I, I do not go back into the history. I just talk about post 9-11 scenario that more than 83,000 Pakistanis, they have been killed in which 7,000 Pakistani army personnel have been killed and India is the country behind all this. And India is the country to finance, to give weapons and ammunition to all the terrorist organizations of uh, TTP, Jamaatul Ahrar, Lashkar e Jhangvi and uh, the factions of uh, BLA. Uh, India is the only country and Indians and uh, the receivers of these uh, funds, uh, they, they themselves say that India is behind all these activities. and. Uh, sometime India supports Greater Pakhtunistan, sometime India supports Greater Balochistan, sometime India supports Janapur, and sometime India wants to create uh, uh, other things out of the womb of Pakistan. Sometime India supports uh, the Blavaristan National uh, Movement to undo the project of CPAC and to give a tough time of Pakistan. India has been doing all these activities. And this is uh, not a secret, this is an open secret. Rather, rather this is writing on the wall. And Pakistan has shown all these details to the international community in Pakistani dossier which has been dispatched everywhere in the world. And before it, Pakistan has also given a lot of solid tangible proofs uh, to, the, uh, to India uh, on, uh, in the year of 2019 uh, at Sheikh, Egypt by Pakistani Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Gelani to his Indian counterpart. So Pakistan has been giving a lot of proofs and uh, there are a lot many footprints of India, Indian terrorism in Pakistan. The, one of the chief examples of it is uh, in the form of Kulbhushan Yadiv, who, who is an uh, Indian serving Navy officer and uh, who has been training all these uh, terrorists uh, uh, who are doing uh, terrorism in Pakistan. And I tell you that India has been giving training to the terrorists with more than 80 terrorist camps, training camps. And among these uh, 80 terrorist attacks, 66 training camps are in Afghanistan and 21 training camps are in India. And Pakistan has given all these proofs, black and white proofs to the international community to the, in the dossier. And India is behind all these things. And I tell you that India, Indian uh, uh, agency RAW, it has been doing terrorism while sitting inside Pakistan and India has also misguided, misused our brothers, our friends, our Iranians and Afghanians uh, in a terrorist war against Pakistan. So India is doing, India want to undo Pakistan by all fair or foul means. So I do not understand that there is not any sort of war going on between Pakistan and India, but why they are creating war mongering time and again Pakistan, why they have been challenging the national security advisor of India, Ajit Doval, he states openly that we will make a greater Pakistan, uh, Balochistan. So there are a lot many other things. These are just the blueprint of Indian terrorism. I just want to show the Indian uh, terroristic uh, side to the international community that this is this is uh, Modi's India. This is RSS India. 
Modi states that Hitler is the ideal of Narendra Modi. Who Hitler is? Hitler is the killer of humanity. Who, who, what did he do? Who give millions of dead bodies to the international community? And Narendra Modi says that uh, Hitler is his ideal. What did he, uh, Hitler do before the start of uh, Second World War? He annexed Rhineland in 1936. He also annexed uh, Austria, Austria and Czechoslovakia and Britain and uh, France. They were silenced on all these uh, uh, activities of Hitler. They were adhering to the policy of appeasement that everything will be all right. Things do not go like this because a terrorist remains a terrorist because terrorism remains in the meadows of the bones of a terrorist and Modi is a declared terrorist because uh, he, terror, uh, he staged terrorism in 2002 in Gujarat uh, India and he also uh, broke up Pakistan in uh, on the eve of 1971 by training the guerrilla warfare of Mukti Bani and all the Indian uh, the individuals of BJP and RSS they talk about all these things so this is the time that international community must take a serious notice of uh, the inter, uh, uh, Narendra Modi's terroristic activities. I tell you over here that not the international community, the domestically all minorities of India, they are harassed, they are horrified from the designs of RSS because uh, RSS wants to make whole of India a Hindu state and uh, under these terroristic activities they have uh, killed uh, thousands of people in Kashmir. Kashmir has become the uh, biggest jail of the world and apart from the Kashmiri Muslims, the all Indian Muslims, more than 25 crore Muslims, they are also terrified in India and in Human Rights Watch has uh, highlighted all these things. Amnesty International has closed its office in India and now India is in a state of war with its own people uh, like six. So India is terrorizing domestically, regionally, internationally. Now what is to do in this situation? In this situation, only one thing is required that India should, India, India should be released, India should be liberated, rescued from the leadership of BJP and RSS. In this, there is a uh, survival, there is a life of the region, of the subcontinent, of the international community. So, this is high time to look into the ambitious designs of uh, Narendra Modi uh, and RSS India. Thank you very much.